I've always wanted to be a, a role model for the younger riders and just inspire them to work hard, follow their dreams, you know, keep strong through the, through the hard times. And I've always aspired exactly to, to do that, be a role model, so I hope I can fulfill it. Oh, big things ahead for this young rider, Emily King for Great Britain. I'm lucky that I don't feel pressure too much. I think maybe because I've you know, grown up with mum and her having a lot of you know, press and media attention that it's kind of, I think, all went a bit over my head as a kid. And it's all it's just being kind of part of the scenery. And OK, maybe there might be a few more people watching me with the mum being who she is. But I've just got used to it. And I know that you know, I go to every event wanting to ride as well as I can. You've got your expectations for the horses. You want them to go as well as you, know, you expect them to. And I just try and you know, keep really focused on that and not let the other things affect me. <laughs> the youth programme in Great Britain is really ideal if you do, you know, obviously ponies, juniors, young riders, and quite often you sort of come up together through that, the sort of group of you, and then there's always a group that keep going up right through and to the top, and so you get really, really close with that sort of bunch, and yeah, it's great to exactly bounce ideas off, you know, give each other advice. It makes it really good fun, and you really enjoy the events, but it's still obviously really serious, and you're here to do a job, but it, you know, it makes it a lot more enjoyable. So I was the youngest competitor at Babington and it was great, you know, you were at the biggest event in the world and there's a huge sort of 40 year age gap between some of the riders and you're still right up there on equal terms, sort of going head to head, it's, you know, pretty cool. Social media is great, I mean, you know, with your phones nowadays it's so easy just to do stuff and when you're travelling a lot, I mean, it's quite handy, you can, it's a great time to keep people posted and I mean, it's quite nice to give, you know, younger kids an insight to what happens and then also boost the, the sport as much as possible, spread the word and the more followers you have, the hopefully the more sponsors you can attract. You know, for the younger riders to build up a good social media platform nowadays, it's such a key thing and part of being a rider, you have to take the time to really make it as attractive as possible to then be more approachable and yeah, attract more sponsors and just help help them out. Oh, the Olympics is literally the you know cream of the cream. It's, I would not, never knew anybody asked me as a kid what was my what were my aspirations. I was always like Olympic gold medalist. I no, it was incredible, and I've been lucky enough to go to a few with Mum. Um, went to Athens and Beijing, and then London, and I think that you know fueled my appetite even more. Seeing how obviously you know witnessing how hard, incredibly hard everybody works from you know the grooms, riders, the whole support team and then getting to these huge championships and you know, all your work is for this, this one week of competition and it's just an incredible feeling and yeah, I'm aiming everything towards trying to compete there one day.